Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Conway Ford in Conway, South Carolina, and they are allowing me to show you this 2015 Ford F-150 XL. Now, this is the Super Crew cab with the V8 5.0 liter, and it has, has a little bit of upgrades. It's not a super basic truck, but um, it does have some really nice upgrades that a lot of people, I think, would like to have on a truck like this uh, without spending you know too too many arms and too many legs so anyways let's check it out it does have the full aluminum body it's a 2015 which Ford has has um, transferred over to the aluminum body with the fully boxed steel frame which gives it a very rigid frame and a lightweight body to go on top of it which is still uh, strong the alum aluminum is very strong material it is lightweight though, so that's that's one of the pluses. So you can see it does have the 17 inch steel wheels painted with uh, silver paint. And um, so yeah, let's go around here to the front. You can see this with the XL, this one in particular, has all the blacked out grill. No fancy shiny nothing here in the front, except for the Ford emblem. And it has the halogen reflector lights headlight system and what's interesting about the uh, the XL or just about all I mean all the 2015 four trucks is that they have active grill shutters so I don't know if you can see that in there but they have these shutters and there's the actuator there they have these shutters that will close up and allow air to flow around the truck while you're driving at high speeds and driving at high speeds through air air is a fluid so it's sort of like you know trying to rush your way through water you feel a lot of a resistance there so um, so the same thing with air the truck is you know getting a lot of resistance so the the more the easier the truck can slip through the air the better so when you close up the the shutters here the shutters here in the front it stops the air from going through that radiator system and around the engine and all that stuff that's not very aerodynamic and allows it to flow around the vehicle now it says it's only at high speeds because the, the truck does have to have some cooling so uh, so at high speeds you do have an adequate amount of airflow uh, for the engine and, and at any time it can open them up and get some some airflow if it needs it because it you know it's an active air system so it'll actively open and close all right, so let's take a look here in the shotgun position. And this is like a brown and black two-tone interior. You see here in the door, it has plenty of storage space, even for a water bottle. Also, you have a place to put, which I think is a good spot for your cell phone there. You do have automatic door locks and um, you know, electric, um, remote door locks, keyless entry, uh, power windows, st stuff like that. Some of the upgrades in the XL, um, that's none of that standard. The engine's not even standard, but anyways. So you can see it does have the vinyl seats and the vinyl floor, which is very handy. And you can see all this is, nothing's really um, too soft to the touch. It just has, you know, the plastic here, and that way you can easily clean it up. Uh, if you're using it as a work truck, it's, you, you don't have to worry about getting in and out of the truck with dirty hands and dirty clothes because it's easily cleaned. Um, there's nothing, uh, no porous surfaces uh, to trap dirt. So the manually adjusted seat, it is a, I know it kind of looks like leather uh, because it is textured and it does have some stitching accenting it, but it is actually, this is a vinyl seat and I was pretty surprised uh, looking at it. It is a higher end higher looking quality vinyl than I see in other trucks. It does have a place here um, to put like some pins or something. There's the glove compartment which it does have a little shelf system in there. Alright let's take a look at the back. With the Super Crew you've got a, a super amount of room in the back seat. I mean this is just as much room uh, if not more than the front you see the back door has a, the pockets and everything similar to the front 
but uh but look at the leg room there in the back seat i mean it's just a significant very significant you can really you know get comfortable and three people can pretty much easily sit back here it's not a problem and the seats also if you want to use this back space for cargo area these seats will lift up and then you got this whole cargo area back here so you got some interior cargo space as well just in case it's raining and you're picking up some boxes from Lowe's and you don't have any passengers back here you can just put them right back here there's some cup holders there which will flip up out of the way if you want to also you have the 12 volt power supply there as well it has this little storage space there I guess that would be good for an umbrella I guess a couple of umbrellas will stay right there out of the way and they won't roll out from underneath the seat yeah the Super Cruise is the way to go if you got any if you're using the back seats at all um, that's a really highly recommended to have that extra room so looking back here now this truck does have the locking tailgate and it will automatically lock and unlock as you use the lock and unlock feature on the vehicle whether it be the key or the inside so you don't ever have to worry about anybody stealing your tailgate or uh, because it is an easily removable tailgate which I'll show you that in a second so the back bumper has these little circles here and those are your um, parking sensors in the back so you're backing up you get close too close to something that will beep at you and let you know hey you're uh, getting too close pay attention you have the towing package with the four and seven way plug here and it will tow up to uh, nine, I think is around 9,000 pounds if I'm not mistaken so pretty significant there uh, considering it has the V8 and the crew cab longer you know body longer wheelbase so it gives you uh, up to 9,000 pounds I believe you might want to reconfirm that before you actually start loading stuff up so here's the back of the truck this is what it looks like before you put your bed liner in it I would definitely recommend a bed liner uh, speed liner some kind of spray in would be good uh, but you know at least something and basically this has a quick disconnect here on these on these cables um, it also has a plate the ability to turn the two let's see if you can see that you can turn the uh, tailgate to a certain position you pull up on it and you you can actually unhook the tailgate and remove it uh, once you unhook those straps and that way you can access the bed a little bit easier sometimes the tailgate just gets in the way so really handy feature there but like I said keep it locked and that way uh, nobody steals it because they're not cheap do you have a backup camera there's the lens there uh, for the backup camera it's kind of wide angle lens which I'll show you that when we get in the, in the truck also it has a lock for the spare tire so you know you do have a key uh, there so you can unlock it with a key so nobody sp steals your spare tire as well <laughs> all right so right here is where you put the gas in and it is a capless design it's where you just walk up to it from the gas station put the nozzle in pump your gas now there is a uh, little funnel that this truck has that you'll need to use if you are going to use a gas can because it um, you know just pouring gas in there is not going to work it has to go in a certain uh, distance past that that first nozzle before it actually reached the tank let's take a look under here there's a the coil springs in the front and the two-stage leaf springs in the back all right so let's take a look under the hood check out that 5.0 liter v8 now to open the hood uh, you just put your hand just slightly to the right of the center of the oval here and there's a little latch here. Just reach under and lift it up like so. Smooth running V8, 5.0 liter. Is 
amazing with today's technology, you can get some really good power with uh, some good gas mileage as well. So like this one here is rated at 22 on the highway, 15 in the city, and considering how much power you have with a V8, that's pretty darn good. All right, so let's take a look on the inside. So here is the inside of the driver's door. You can see it's pretty much a mirror of the other side, except for it has a few more buttons. Um, of course, it has the power lock buttons, but it also has the power, has the power windows for all four windows, plus your side mirror controls here, and you can lock out the other windows besides the driver uh, window there if you want to do that. Um, so basically, you just have to choose a side, and then you can adjust it there for your side mirrors. And they do have the little lens there for the, the blind spot and they will manually fold in as well all right so right here is your headlight controls and so basically your headlight controls have uh, an automatic feature which is right there uh, you can put them on which is your headlights uh, this is your automatic which you'll turn on and off by itself this is manually on uh, parking lights and then completely off there. You have a uh, bed cargo light which is at the back of the top of the cab. You push that and it'll turn it on and then you can uh, adjust the brightness um, of the interior lighting with that button there. Manual adjustments on the seat. Seal and press with the vinyl seats in this truck. So here we are on the inside, and it's a very spacious truck, got plenty of leg room, I have plenty of knee room, and the steering wheel is basically, it has a lot of buttons on it, but um, just want to comment on the, the construction of it. It's not a leather wrapped or anything like that, but it is a very solid, durable feeling steering wheel that's going to be good for um, if your hands are dirty or if you have gloves on and stuff like that you really don't have to worry about the uh, you know messing the steering wheel up is very solid and comfortable as well it does give a little bit in your hand uh, to avoid fatigue while you're driving long distances um, but anyways on the steering wheel it also this has this poly really strong plastic polypropylene type stuff here but on the steering wheel, you'll see you have a volume button on the right side. You can turn through the stations or your presets here. You also have an M, which stands for mode, which you can cycle through AM, FM, satellite radio, uh, your auxiliary input, that kind of stuff. Plus your uh, Bluetooth system, which is down here. Uh, basic, basically, if you want to answer the call, uh, once you pair your phone with the Bluetooth system, you can send and receive calls with these buttons. Um, you can answer the phone here. You can hang up here. And you can make a call here uh, you can also tune to a certain station by you know making um, certain voice commands plus call people that happen to be in your phone book that kind of stuff so on this side we've got your cruise control pretty pretty basic you just have to make sure it's on and then you can set it and then you can resume or cancel there and you can adjust your speed of these uh, this little pad here with the uh, arrows and the okay corresponds to this little screen here in the center of the gauges now um, you can see that the gauges are very easy to read. You have your, um, your speedometer there to your right and your RPMs there to the left. And then across the top you have your coolant, uh, your oil pressure on the far left, coolant temperature next, your gas gauge, which this one actually has a little bit of gas in it, surprising. And then the next one on the far right is your transmission temperature. Um, so that's handy to know. So that center screen you'll notice it has like a whole menu system. So using these buttons that I showed you here, I'm going to kind of, you know, just kind of scroll through just to kind of show you uh, what's in here. So right now, let me kind of zoom in a little bit. All right, so now we're in the main menu and I can scroll up and down. And to choose an option, so let's say I want to see what display mode, I want to go in there. So right now it says distance empty. I can scroll down, transmission temperature, scroll down, tire pressure, scroll down, digital speedometer. So basically, um, engine information. So once you choose a particular option, you go in and you can scroll more. It gives you all kinds of more 
information. So this is your trip in fuel. So trip, you have your trip with gives gives you your um, your time, your average miles per gallon, uh, you know gallons used, and your distance. Um, and then you got you know two trips there, but also you got your fuel economy, which gives you average, and you also get like a um, you know last 30 minute, 30 minute average, and then there's your compass. And it scrolls back to the trip. Let's get back out of that towing. Let's go into here. Now this one does have the trailer brake gain control, so you can adjust your trailer brake if you need to. Once you hook up a trailer that has a trailer brake, uh, so you can adjust that there. Uh, you can you know check on the settings there. Off-road settings, this is pretty cool because you have the ability to see. Um, now this is a two-wheel drive truck. Uh, it does have the uh, electronic um, you know, locking differential, but uh, while you're drive, driving over kind of rough terrain, you can see where the the angle of the truck basically and the um, and basically like say if you're tilting too far to the right or too far to the left or tilting down or up you'll see those tilts right now I'm on level surface so everything's at zero zero percent all right and then to go down to settings um, this is where you can see the, the rear parking aid which is your backup little sensors back there you can turn that off stuff like that uh, just in you know and then you know scrolls back up so basically you know it gives you some different information there uh, that's just kind of a rough overview of it it's stuff that you don't necessarily always have to keep an eye on but you, like say your temp uh, tire pressure uh, your tire pressure will be uh, pop, pop up if there's any problem it's not going to you're not going to have to constantly check on it all the time you just forget about it drive your truck and if there's a problem it'll alert you so that's the the good thing about this uh, menu system here you can see it does have this SW that's the the vehicles facing southwest is your compass there and then your odometer is there on the bottom left all right and then you've got your uh, your windshield uh, wiper controls there and here's your column shifter it is a uh, six-speed automatic transmission it is a electric shifter but it does have like a you know kind of a standard column shifter so I can you know scroll down here and uh, when it, once I put it in reverse it'll say rear parking aid is on I can turn it off if I need to also my backup camera pops up here and you can see it's kind of a little bit of a wide angle view so it has the the lines there just giving you an estimated trajectory of your vehicle and also the estimated size because as you back up you know it's the further you are away from this camera the more things are distorted so you can see you can see from the bumper to the sky so really handy if you're backing up to a trailer um, you can push this little button here oops sorry it's not a touch screen right here just below is the button there and um, and it zooms in right where you need to look uh, for your your trailer to hook up so pretty cool there so push that goes that guy goes away all right so I can continue with the shifter go down the neutral I can go into drive now I can also go down into what's called M manual mode and I can manually shift the gears with this plus and minus and so basically right here you see it says M I'm going to switch to gears there but it's not going to let me go too far out of uh, the gear ratio range it'll start flashing but it does give you some level of change uh, you know manually at cycling through the gear ratios uh, also you can just keep on going down and go into three two and one if in case you need to downshift uh, down a hill or something Plus you have a tow and haul button, which you push one time. And it also has, if you push it twice, it goes into a sport mode, which uh, basically shifts the priority from fuel economy to uh, performance of the engine. You have a pocket up here, kind of, I guess, to put a clipboard or something, something that's not gonna be heat sensitive. And your traction control button is here. And that's, you can turn that off. Uh, is default on but if you get stuck in the snow or mud or whatever uh, and you need to spin tires uh, you can turn that off or if you're just driving down a muddy road uh, and you kind of need to keep spin every once in a while to keep your keep your momentum um, that being might be another reason to turn that off uh, four-way flashers are here okay so here's your radio and like I said it's not a touch screen but it does have plenty of buttons around it to turn it on you just push this button here 
turn the volume down and uh, so basically it does have a CD player which is located down here right there and so you can push that there's no CD in there you can push this button and you adjust your um, the sound of your music you can go into your radio screen it does have Sirius satellite radio which you can go into that media this is where your USB auxiliary and Bluetooth uh, ability to play music through those systems there's nothing hooked up now though you can adjust your clock with that button you can do your phone go into your phone settings here and once you pair a phone oh, I keep forgetting it's not a touch screen <laughs> but um, once you pair your phone you can uh, you know dial a number you can look into your phone book you can look at call history redial all that cool stuff so um, so that's that and then you got a menu system where you can go in and this is where you can you know sync your phone and uh, change your uh, sync settings and sync apps also you can use these buttons these are for like a preset for your your radio but also it's like a keypad for dialing numbers and sending calls so pretty cool system there 80 degrees that's how that's the temperature outside and then there's your clock there so down here you got you can change to your CD tracks here. Um, you can also you know go around to different places on that on that screen there with those buttons. You do have a big volume button and tune through the stations here, and you know that's pretty traditional uh, the, the the dials. Like I said, there's a CD player, and the climate control is right here, real easy. It is a single zone, um, so basically every everybody in the truck has to have the same temperature, and then you got your fan speed. Your temperature on that side you can adjust it it's all manual and then you can um you know where you want the air to blow also you can recirculate the air all that good stuff your trailer brake gain control is right there so there's no trailer right now but you can adjust it with the plus and minus um, and you can you know engage it there up here is your the ability to turn on and off your electric uh, D differential lock so basically that'll help you keep you from getting stuck now you don't want to just drive around uh, with a lock differential because it's not really safe uh, for all road conditions but uh, this is a good way of getting through some you know sticky situations so down here you'll see uh, this is where you'll find your auxiliary input uh, line in and your USB input for playing music you can also charge stuff that kind of thing 12 volt power supply is found there. You also have one over here. All right, so here's your armrest. Has some cup holders here, and um, in a little shallow place here for putting stuff. I guess your small phone or something. But, you know, this armrest is really comfortable and uh, well placed, has a good height. But if you need a center passenger, so let's say you need six, to carry six people somewhere, this thing, this thing right here will just lift right up out of the way. You know, it'll lock in place. And there's a little, little button here to um, unlock it, to fold it back down. Um, so, but basically, this seat will also lift up for some storage underneath the seat. So you can put some stuff under there. Of course, you can't access it with somebody sitting on it, but you you know you can put stuff there when you get there. Now this cup holder, uh, when there's nobody sitting on the in the center seat to use that space for their feet, uh, you can put this cup holder out so you can have um, you know additional cup holders. Or if you just don't want to have the center armrest down, but you need some cup holders, that kind of thing. All right, this rear view mirror basically has a little flippy thing for day and night mode, pretty standard there. And uh, this is your microphone for your Bluetooth system. You want to have an interior light, you can just push that. If you want to make sure your interior lights do not turn, your interior lights do not turn on when you open up the door, you can push that button. There's your visor. It is a pretty plain visor. Um, it does have the ability to slide out. It's pretty far, so you can really adjust it where you want it. Uh, no mirror on this side, but the passenger side has one All right So putting this this center thing down is a little bit of a pain um, From this position so when you're driving you probably Want to make sure it's either up or down so you don't have to uh, have to do it with your hand. It's a little bit fidgety there
pretty good amount of visibility out of the back glass headrests don't get in the way too much but it does have um the uh the hooks there on the sides instead of the back some of them have them on the back and it interferes like if you were to hang clothes or whatever it, it will interfere with your visibility so that will just interfere with your vi visibility on the side but not the very back All right, there you have it, 2015 Ford F-150 XL Super Crew V8 5.0 liter two-wheel drive. Let me know what you think in the comments. If there's any clarifications, anything to add, if you have any experience with a truck like this, let me know. Really appreciate it. And thank you to Conway Ford for allowing me to show this truck off to the world. See you next time.